Hello, welcome friends. Today we'll see how do we create OCR application using DataCap. So let's check. let's start. The very first thing what we'll check is whether DataCap Taskmaster service is started or not. To verify this, we need to go to Start Programs, go to DataCap, and you can click on Taskmaster Server. Taskmaster Server Manager. I have already opened it here. I can see that my service is started. So, the next thing, the kind of image where we are going to work. I do have it stored at one location. Yeah, so this is the one. Minute. <coughs> Sorry. So, this is a like our appointment letter of a company. Uh, here, we can see that we do have a name and designation, grade, date of joining, year and some salad components and we can see that the components is present in a tablet structure format and this is completely OCR image we'll process this one to start this go to DataCap, DataCap Studio to create our own application close this dialog box we need to click on uh, DataCap application wizard to create our own application Taskmaster application wizard appears in the welcome screen. Click on next. And we'll be creating a new rule runner server application. Click on next. Now application name is OCR demo. I have my <coughs> sorry. I have my DataCap configure and install in C drive. And I want to store my DataCap application in the same at the same place. Uh, you can have at your environment the location might be changed. You can store an let's say J driver on some D drive or some D drive your name folder, data cap applications and so and so on. It's up to you. Where you want to store your application. But yes, the data cap folder will be remain same. Now it, it will point to where you have installed and configured your data cap software. Click on next. Uh, next one appears which says about you need to create a document hierarchy. It is possible for us to create a document hierarchy at later stage also and at here also. It's up to you. But in this video, we'll be creating a cap document hierarchy at a later stage. Then a kind of fingerprints, the kind of templates which your application will gonna locate and we're gonna process the incoming pages for it. You can create or you can add fingerprints at later stage also. In our case, we'll add it later. The next, the kind of sample images. You can provide the sample images here itself or you can again, as I said, for the last two steps, we can provide later. We'll do it later. And then you click on finish. We can, once it is finished, we can close this one and we can check right now uh, our application will be created in a data cap folder this is a name of application and we have the by default application created with its by default document structure folder structure along with a by default databases which is microsoft access and we can see the entry of this document this this application in a root level xml file which is data cap.xml file we can open it in let's say for example i and we can see a name of our application. That name is OCI Demo. Uh, stick to next video. Watch the next video for the next thing. Thank you.